The right to believe is a fundamental human right. Yet around the world, millions of Christians are denied this freedom. Worse, they are actively persecuted because of their faith. Every year, Open Doors publishes the World Watch List to wake up the world to the 50 countries where Christians face the most extreme persecution. And here are the top five countries on the list. The most dangerous places in the world to be a Christian. Number five, Pakistan. Christians in Pakistan are facing unprecedented levels of violence. At least 160 Christian buildings were attacked in 2017. Over 700 Christian women and girls were forcibly married. Convert to Christianity from Islam and you bring shame upon your family. Speak up for your faith and you run the risk of being imprisoned for blasphemy. For most Christians in Pakistan, life is lived on the margins ostracized, denied education, and restricted to the dirtiest, least regarded occupations. At number four, Sudan. The government wants Sudan to be a fully Islamic country. Converting from Islam to another religion is punishable by death. The government has arrested or intimidated many Christian leaders. At least 20 churches have been closed, and if you protest, as some brave pastors have done, you are likely to find yourself arrested on trumped-up charges. In the conflict-torn Nuba Mountains, Christians have been indiscriminately targeted by government security forces. Number three, Somalia. If you are even suspected of being a Christian in Somalia, you could be murdered on the spot. At least 23 suspected converts were killed last year. Christians are not only targeted by violent Islamic militants, but also by their own families and communities, ashamed by what they see as a betrayal of family and clan. So becoming a Christian in Somalia means choosing a life of intimidation, harassment and even death, which is why Somali Christians keep their faith as secret as possible. Afghanistan is number two on the World Watch list. All Afghan Christians are secret believers. If you are discovered to have left Islam, then you could be arrested or beaten up. Your house or business might be destroyed. You might even be killed. Some converts are even classed as insane and sent to psychiatric hospitals. At number one, for the 17th consecutive year, North Korea. The leaders are worshipped as gods and Christians are considered enemies of the state. An estimated 50 to 70,000 Christians are imprisoned in brutal labor camps. So to follow Jesus here means risking everything. If you are fortunate enough to have a Bible, you must keep it hidden. You must hide your faith. Don't even tell your children in case they accidentally tell their teachers. And if you are discovered, then not only you, but your whole family will be sent to a labor camp. Around the world, Persecution against Christians is becoming more extreme, but the church is growing. In the face of violence and cruelty, in situations of intolerable pressure and hostility, the persecuted church is not merely surviving, it is active and alive. This is our family, and they need our long-term support. For over 60 years, Open Doors has stood shoulder to shoulder with them. Our underground networks smuggle Bibles and literature, offer legal advice, train church leaders and other Christians, and provide vital practical support, such as trauma care and emergency aid. In too many countries, Christians have to keep their faith secret. We don't. Will you share their struggle? Will you wake up the world to the reality of persecution? Because your prayers, your gifts, your voices are needed today more than ever before.